Hey folks, I'm in Bozeman, Montana, and the view out of the airport, this is just crazy, and I don't know if it does any justice here, if you can see through. What a gorgeous view, goodness gracious. Awesome, so, airport is gorgeous, it's little, but man, it is, it's beautiful. We are going to be meeting up with Andy Mulder and his brother, Rich, and Zach Tourneau and his brother, Aaron. We're going to ride snowmobiles in Yellowstone, Montana. So, here we go. It's going to be cool. Just left the airport and uh, getting on I-90 East here, and golly, it's amazing. In 9.3 miles, take exit 309. Yeah, Caleb, Caleb Tom Terry, he's got the freaking GoPro up now. Yeah, buddy. Caleb, if you make millions off this YouTube video, I want some. All right, here. millions. Is that the road? Woo! What's up? Mr. J Squared. Mr. Andy Mulder. Up, buddy? Mr. Rich what Mulder. Big, and the Torno oh, Brothers. What's up? What up? Big spring. This is amazing.
serious all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. It was going. I kind of thought it was a little steeper. And who did that? Uh, Andy. Oh sh! That's Andy. Andy. You all right? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so you hit your ride halfway up there. Yeah, just just go right. See that? Just, just right. Well, man, that was that was crazy. That escalated quickly. <laughs> oh my god. It, yeah, if you, if, I mean, really, these ain't bent, I don't think. No, they just bent back. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think. Here, take and do this. Sorry. Do you think the shaft bent or that it just pivoted on No, I think it just pivoted. Yeah, it just tightened. Yeah. yeah, it just pivoted. Aerodynamic. Pulled the There's sleds no up here. I think it went up to Yellowstone from Idaho Springs. Huh. Old railroad tunnel here. Look at these, look at these timbers. Hey, this failing retaining wall? <laughs> I'll get to that, don't worry. Look how big those timbers are. I don't see any geo grid. How big do you suppose, or how, what do you figure those timbers are worth in Ohio? Those big people kill for those in a cabin or a lodge, wouldn't they? Not, not a not an arm. Not yeah, an arm. We need a, we need a shot. 
be a picture of all of us right here from there. Nuts, huh? It's amazing. Built out here in the middle of nowhere, like crazy. Can you imagine doing that? No. <laughs> Don't want to part with my snow machine. Yeah. Fly <laughs> home. And yeah, so this isn't, and then so since we're here talking snowmobiling now on this end of things, this isn't, and, and Zach invited us out on this snowmobile trip, so bug him about invites for next year and, and don't, <laughs> don't accept any of them. Yeah. But the, the, uh, but this is, this is how many, I mean, how many times or years have you folks been snowmobiling? Because you know your way around a little bit. Um, we've been, we actually have been out here, sort of third trip out to West Yellowstone. Um, the last trip we did a couple of days is along with this one as well. We've been out to Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and uh, sledded out there a few times. One time went out with a guide, um, which was fun. So that we're starting to put that money, we're, or it's just being built into our pricing now early. Right. So we just get comfortable and used to charging these prices, and then every year start ratcheting that up the closer we get to it. So all of a sudden, so like, let's say next the next season, you're like, oh, wow, my overhead's got to go up, you know, by $20,000 a year because we're going into... You know, because we immediately have a shop and our overhead, it's going to be a huge shock to my customers of right. now like our repeat businesses or repeat business of like, 
oh, wow, their prices went up, you know, 7% just to cover or whatever it would be, yeah. right? You know, so just I would encourage you to begin to start build that stuff into your overhead slowly okay. as, as you anticipate growth so that it's not a shock to the system of, like, your pricing for your repeat clients. Like, you know, your your clients you that are new, they're not going to notice, they're not going to know, right, that your pricing yeah. is 11% higher than it was last year because of that. And also keeping inflation in mind, too, that's going to throw, throw things through the roof. But, yeah, I would just begin to slowly begin building in budget budgetary items like that.